What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Poor man's guide to building a food truck. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a really brief electrical test to make sure that we've got uh, stuff wired up properly before we go ahead and do our final finishes, put the rest of the walls and the ceiling and stuff on like that. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how to make your own DIY generator cable that you can plug into the house. I've pulled the trailer over to the house. We got, a, we got it ready to go and plugged in. So let's get into it. All right guys, so moment of truth. We got the generator plug that we just made plugged into the power outlet. Let's, let's get into the trailer and conduct a bit of a test. So if I did everything correctly, once I turn on this breaker, which I just switched it off, but when I switch on this breaker right here, it's gonna supply power to the right hand side of the trailer. I got a light hooked up right here just to test and make sure we got everything hooked up right. So if we did it right, let's switch this breaker on. I'm gonna make sure it's down to the side. We have power, it's not tripping. So if we did everything right, when I switch this switch right here, this light should come on. So moment of truth. There it is. We have power. Turn it off. There it is. It works. I also bought one of these uh, outlet testers and you can see we've got power run into it. Everything's good. We wired it up correctly. So we're off to a good one. So we're just going to try and do a couple of other tests while we've got power going to the trailer. So again, I'm going to use my um, outlet tester. Bought this from Harbor Freight. It was like four or five bucks, something like that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to it so you guys can check it out too. Uh, so we're just going to plug this into this outlet right here. See if it has power. <clears throat> now, this second breaker at the top here is going to power everything on the left side. So let's just flip this one. And this one. And there you go, you guys can see that right there. Two orange lights means we did everything correct. It says right on the top there. So we've got power going to this one. And I already tested the switch outlet and it actually uh, trips. So we've got something going on between the connection between that switch and that outlet. I remember that this outlet was a real pain in the butt because it had a bunch of uh, wires and stuff sticking out of it. So I think we might just be um, not wired quite correctly right there. So. Um, I can show you guys here when we go ahead and switch this switch on and stand to the side. You see right there, it's going to trip it. So we've got something to figure out right there. But we know that we did this one right. And then this side is right. We'll go ahead and just test one more. Let me go ahead and disconnect the power here. So we're going to test another outlet on this side because I jumped a wire from here, which is like my home run box. I jumped one all the way down to the back. I think I remember telling you guys I thought about putting an outlet down the back side. I eventually did. So let's see if we wired this one up. Give me a moment. We've got it plugged in. So again, once we switch this big breaker down the bottom, that powers the right side. So we're all good. No trip. And if you guys can see that, it's kind of bright outside. But we do have two orange lights right there. So this is all wired up correct. And there we go. All of this, guys, just goes to show that you don't need to be a professional to be able to do this. You don't need to hire someone and spend a ton of money to have it do them do the job for you when you can just educate yourself and teach yourself, invest in yourself, because these aren't skills that you know you'll just use once. You know, once you learn it. You'll be able to work on other projects and you'll use them around the house and you'll help your friends and family and whatever else so um, i'm living proof that it can be done uh, i am not an electrician i'm not a contractor i work in retail i've never done anything like it before but if i can hook up an electrical um, outlet panel wires outlets and all that kind of stuff and switches if i can do it you guys can do it so big bit of advice invest in yourself take the time learn research watch youtube videos 
and you will save yourself not only a ton of money, but you'll improve your own skill set. Advice of the day. And again, guys, I just want to give a shout out to Frank Bolsieras of Roland Burritos Food Truck. He's the guy that I followed his electrical plan. He goes through step-by-step -step in great detail of how to wire this thing up properly. Uh, he is a professional, I am not. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out his channel, Roland Burritos Food Truck, Frank Bolsieras. Big thanks to him because I wouldn't be able to do it without him. So, and that's gonna be all for this video, guys. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, ask questions.